Small businesses generate most new jobs in the U.S. Angie Hicks started a very successful small business that was 18 years ago. Tomorrow in Washington, the founder of Angie's List will give advice to people who would like to follow in her footsteps. Angie, we welcome you back to Studio 57. So you'll be in Washington tomorrow talking to people that really want to be the next Angie. That's right. But let's start with your backstory for a second, because when did you know that you had made it, that I am a, I am a success with your ridiculously reliable <laughs> reviews? When did you know you had made it? I think it was as we expanded into other cities. We started in Columbus, Ohio, and I remember seeing our little tiny ad called Tired of Lousy Service show up in the Plain Dealer when we opened in Cleveland. And I was like, oh my, now we're in multiple cities. You know, what's going on? This is exciting. Mm -hmm. What's the number one service people want to find out, sure. to get the reviews it's, about? It's usually plumbers. Plumbers or, uh, or handymen are a lot of times some of the top categories. It's hard to, uh, to outseed them. What do you think is the key to creating and running a successful small business? Well, I think part of it is you know, understanding what your business idea is going to be and then really sticking to the task at hand, sticking to that uh, original idea. I think a lot of times people can get very distracted as they're starting businesses and hire good people. Yeah. Make sure the people that you're taking on as partners and first employees are going to be people that are, are like-minded and are going to really help you move the idea forward. One of the interesting things you say, a preface is by what we know is that housing often is the stimulus for recovery and economic mm -hmm. recovery. And sure. you say that you can feel the recovery by the type of work that people are doing on their homes. That's right. As the recession started back in 08, we watched people shift from you know doing landscaping and remodeling to fixing faucets and making sure their roofs in good repair because everyone wants to make sure that their house is in good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know now we'll start to see people start to move into some of those bigger projects again. I mean I think it's going to be you know it's going to be a long process but we're starting to see that turn. Mm -hmm. So what do you intend to tell people? Because I, I wonder if people recognize you, Angie, when you're walking down the street. Because you really do look like so many people that we all know. Sure. What do they come up to you and say? They do. I mean, they'll, you, they'll be people that will come up and say, aren't, aren't you Angie? Yeah. And, uh, and, and what I advice might, do you, are they, do they stop they ask, down the street and ask you for a review or advice? They ask for advice, but they also will tell me that they owe me a review, which oh. is one of the things I just absolutely love. Like, oh, you helped me with my, you know, remodeling project. I owe you a review. And the business is you must have changed too along the way. Neatest stories come from the businesses, hearing how they've, you know, evolved being on Angie's list. I mean, one story was a, a roofer in Chicago that when he first got on the list, he was literally working out of his truck and now has become a large operation in Chicago. So, you know, seeing those, you know, life changing events is because really exciting. Because it's real people it's giving real people. reviews, good yep. and bad. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You have 1,300 employees. Right. What do they do? <laughs> sure. I mean, we have we operate a call-in service. So today, you can still, even though you, a lot of people go to the web to get information on Angie's List, you can call in and talk to a real person if you'd like. So we have uh, customer support people. We've got engineers. We've got marketing. We also have an editorial staff. We publish magazines across the country as well. So, uh, so we are really, uh, you know, kind of busy putting all that information to good use. What do you tell people about customer service? When it comes to customer service, it's really getting back to basics and, and making sure you're dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's. And I've been talking to companies a lot about that recently because you know, now's a great time to be thinking about that. Return your phone calls, show up for mm -hmm. the appointments. You know, it's really you know under promise, over deliver because communicating and doing what you say you're going to do is going to pay off huge dividends. There's a story in the news today about the guy Gentleman's Warehouse who started the company, who was the yeah. face of the company, and now he's out of the job by the people that he put in place. Mm -hmm. Do you feel okay about Angie being in place for Angie's List? <laughs> <laughs> you think your job is safe, Angie, of Angie's List? <laughs> you know, I caught that. But when you heard morning, that, what did you I think? Know. Yeah. I know. I mean, you know, but it's, you know, it's, it's, those are business decisions. They have to make them for what's right for the company. Okay. <laughs> Angie's, congratulations on Thank your you. success. Thank you so much, Angie Hicks. And she